Hey guys, thank you for checking out KRK Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to add a small antenna to your Belkin tune bass to greatly increase the sound quality. Now if you have one of these, you've noticed that no matter what station you tune this thing to, it always has static. They're just not strong enough. The signal that they produce is not sufficient to uh, provide a clear audio signal so that you can enjoy your music uh, from your iPod to your radio. So, real quick before we start, I just want you to understand that the antenna comes from the main circuit board that's here in the uh, main part of the device, and it goes down this loom into the power adapter. So we're going to take the power adapter apart and get to the small circuit board that's in here, and all we're going to do is just solder our small antenna wire to the existing one. So you're not removing anything, basically we're just going to lengthen the antenna which is really going to make this thing sound a lot better. So the first thing we'll, we'll do is use the flathead screwdriver and I'm going to do this on the ground so I don't stab myself. You're going to want to put that right inside that sleeve right by this little uh, dimple I guess you'd call that and then slide that sleeve off. Now once the sleeve's off, set that to the side and remember that this little dimple piece does come off, so we'll take that off so that we don't lose it. We can just set there. Okay, now what we've done is we've exposed these two small Phillips screws. So before we take those out, we'll take the uh, small fuse mechanism out. So you can do that just by unscrewing it. Now if it's too tight, there's two flat spots on the uh, threaded portion of this thing that you can put a wrench on if you have to. Real quick, I'll just show you the components that it's made out of. You've got the fuse, okay? You've got the threaded part, which I'm going to set here. That's the threaded part. Here's the fuse. You've got the small nipple and then uh, a small spring. Now the spring keeps tension on everything so that the uh, fuse always makes a connection to the power outlet of the car. Now you just want to pull this little thing off. You can use a fingernail or a flathead screwdriver. And you can get that little ring off. Okay, and then once all that's off, now it's time to remove the two Phillips screws. So I'm just going to use a real tiny Phillips screwdriver and take those screws out. Okay, and once those screws are loose, you can take those out and then just gently split this case in half. Now you can see my antenna is this black wire. It's going right to where this red wire is going on this circuit board. That red wire is the old antenna wire and basically I've just put a small piece of solder right on that same piece of the circuit board and brought this black wire out. Now in order to get that wire through the case you just have to drill a small hole as you can see here and I put the hole right on the flat spot on this uh, power adapter so it doesn't interfere with that sleeve it slides on and then it's time to reinstall everything so we'll put the two uh, halves of the power adapter back together and once you have that done you can put your screws back in place, tighten those down with the right screwdriver. And then it's time to put the little ring back in place. See there's two little dimples and the, the uh, ring is actually cut out so it's only going to go on uh, in, in a certain way there which is real simple. Then we'll put the spring in, fuse, small nipple, and the threaded portion of the uh, end of this power adapter. Put all that together and then we'll just screw that in place. Once that's in you can just make sure that your spring's working on the small nipple. And once that's all good, you can reinstall the little dimple on the top part of the case there. And then slide the little sleeve back in place. 
real quick here, you can see where the hole that I drilled doesn't interfere with any of the workings of the power adapter. And then the way you can just clean this up is just give it a few wraps. And then, for example, okay, you're going to have this thing sitting like this. You can wrap it just to be kind of sticking up like that. And then use a piece of, you can use a piece of black electrical tape, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to use this blue one. And you can wrap that around it. Or you could do something like just wrap the wire around the loom up to where the iPod's going to be. And like I said, you could use some black electrical tape here as opposed to this blue stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave them below. And we'll see you again soon.